Hello, Internet Brethren. How are we doing today? Good? Great. I am so glad to hear it. We are going to be pack-a-punching every single gun in World at War Zombies. On De Ries. Why did I choose De Ries? Well, it's the only map with a pack-a-punch machine. I did not have a choice. But I'm glad to be here nonetheless. It's one of my favorites. This is the series in which we try to upgrade every single gun in Treyarch Zombies history. Of course, not literally every single weapon, since there are some map-exclusive ones out there, and we only play one map per game. But hopefully you guys understand and appreciate the concept behind it. We've done Black Ops 1, Kino Toten, Black Ops 2, Town, and Black Ops 3, Shadows of Evil. Today, I'm going to hit you up with some World of War de Reese, and the only game we haven't done yet is Black Ops 4, and I haven't decided which map I'm going to tackle for Black Ops 4, so let me know in the comment section which one you'd prefer. And also, subscribe so you don't miss that episode, and leave a like on this vid. If you leave a like right now, I would love you even more than I already do. I love and appreciate you guys so much. I'm so grateful for the ongoing support. You guys have made me live a very comfortable and relaxing and fun life. I get to wake up in the morning and play COD Zombies, and that is just... It's great. It's temporary, but... I'm so happy for it. There are 22 guns we must upgrade today. 22 is the number I got from Wikipedia. If Wikipedia is incorrect, then I'm incorrect, in which case I will correct myself through the editing process, but I'm going to roll with that number. It's going to cost a total of 110,000 points to pack a punch all of these guns, excluding the initial cost of the weapons. So, it seems like a lot, but it's actually the quickest one to date, the quickest challenge, the World War Edition here. So, it's actually not that bad, but what makes this challenging are the zombies and the engine in general. It's very glitchy, you'll come to find out fairly soon here. The zombies sort of stick to you, like, they're sort of magnets. They, they sort of gravitate towards you when they hit you, they stop you in your tracks. It's a total momentum breaker. These zombies are fucking cracked. They really... It's difficult. I've failed this like a dozen times before you're seeing this. I'm not joking. It's actually sincerely difficult. And we're just short of the Thompson here. We're gonna grab the Thompson and we're gonna upgrade these two as our first set. We're going to upgrade them in sets. I'm choosing the Thompson first because, well, it's great for points and damage. Points are king. We need points. Damage is also very much appreciated, but points are what's going to, you know, enable us to pack a punch all of these weapons. So that's what we're going for here. So naturally, we're going to go for the wall guns first, chip away at those. The SMGs in particular, they're, they're going to be extra helpful. Now we just have just enough to grab the Thompson fuck. How was your 2020 so far? It is fucking mind-bending that we are in an entirely new decade already. Kicking it off strong with a potential World War III. We're not actually going to have a World War III because of what's happening right now. If you're unfamiliar with what's happening right now, basically, um, the United States sort of just bombed and killed an Iranian general, uh, a military general. Tensions between Iran and the United States are high. Is a world war going to break out because of it? No. But, there is going to be some sort of repercussion, there's going to be some sort of conflict, it may escalate, uh, but I don't think we're going to receive a world war as a result of it. And people on Twitter are freaking out about it, making World War 3 memes and all those sorts of things. It's, it's kind of funny, but to be entirely honest, we're not going to have a draft. People on Twitter are talking about a military draft being reinstated. A military draft would not be necessary, especially in this nuclear age where... All of the war would be less and less about ground troops and more and more about air raids and bombs and nukes. So, a draft ju just would seem a little bit unnecessary in my opinion. But hypothetically, if there was a draft, I'd be the first motherfucker out that door. I'm a healthy 19-year-old middle child with a clean background. I meet literally every single qualification to be drafted into the military. But thankfully, uh, we're probably not going to need that. Anyways, you didn't really come here to hear me talk about that. But Also, fun fact, you can't get drafted into the military if you have flat feet because the boots will irritate your feet and you won't be able to do the running or participate at all because of your fucked up flat feet. I don't have flat feet, which is another reason I'd get drafted. But yeah, that's an interesting fact, I suppose. You know what else makes the World of War edition so much more challenging is the Wonder Wolf, the one gun that would help us survive, if shocked, takes away our Juggernaut. Could you believe that? If you shock yourself with the Wonder Wolf in World of War, you lose Jug. It's unbelievable. So, using the Wonder Wolf is not a viable strategy in World of War. There are so many reasons why World of War, Darius in particular, is so difficult. It's going to be quicker than a map like Shadows of Evil or something like that, but it's definitely a lot more challenging in my opinion. I mean, I've been contemplating different strategies. Part of me wants to just spin the box right away and try to get a genuinely good survival weapon and just upgrading others on the side of that. Part of me just wants to fly through the wall weapons, but that's a lot riskier in terms of just survival. There's so many different ways to go about it. There's 22 weapons. It's the least amount, but Jesus. I mean, I, I really, I have a tough time getting to round 30 on this map because the Wonder Wolf is unusable. There's no quick revive. 
and the zombies are just so glitchy. Okay, we're out. We're totally out of ammo. Okay. All right. Yo, that's cool. Take a look at that. You see that, boys? Oh, we got a max ammo. That's cool. <laughs> and we will grab our final two perks. We only get three. I mean, again, I can technically purchase quicker buy, but that's an actual waste of points. It doesn't give you the ability you'd want on solo, so I'm not even going to bother with that. So we can just grab double tap, and that is all we are working with. That's crazy to think about. Hellhounds in War of the War. Ah, yes. A genuine intimidation. I mean, they're not very intimidating in Black Ops 3. They just pop with one bullet. Ah! Oh. Shit, that was a late reaction. All right, double tap, there we go. And we're all perked out, <laughs> that's all we get. We have our temporary little safe haven right here and then we'll open that up and we got the catwalk. We also got a myriad of training areas. What I do like about Darius is that there's so many different ways to go about it and there's pros and cons with each. You know, if I train, I'm more likely to get stuck and die. But if I camp, I'm also more likely to get stuck and die. <laughs> when I'm reloading. And that is three out of three. We're gonna upgrade both of these right now. Seems like an appropriate time. Let me kill this mofo first. And let's see what my reward is first. Please, give me a carpenter. That would save my day. Oh yeah. You read my mind. Alright, we're gonna upgrade the Colt, which gives us a nice little uh, Mustang and Sally type weapon, except singular. You'll see in a sec. It's pretty fucking dope. Take a look at that. Oh yeah, and um, we'll upgrade the Thompson, which becomes the Gibsomatic, and that brings us up to 2 out of 22. We are 1 11th of the way there. Check out this bad boy. Oh yeah. We'll camp up on the catwalk as long as we possibly can, and then we will move away once we start getting overrun. Also, this thing is fucking awesome and really cool, but unfortunately, I don't have PhD flopper, so it's pretty much suicide using this thing. You bitches don't stand a chance against me and my C3000, baby. Oh my god. He died. She died. I think dog. I think these are female dogs, right? They're bitches, right? We're pretty low on ammo, so I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trade these out. I said I was gonna buy wall guns, but I think what I might do instead, since I haven't tried this yet and I've failed a thousand times doing it my way, I'm gonna do it the other way and I'm gonna spin the box and see if I can get a legitimate LMG or something that'll help me survive on the catwalk for a little bit longer. Monkeys are also very much appreciated. That is what I'm talking about. Oh my god, the MG42. Holy shit, I just creamed myself. Tagged along with what looks like a double barrel shotgun. All right, well, I am not going to question. I am just going to take these and I'm going to upgrade them right now. The double barrel shotgun when upgraded becomes the 24 bore long range and the MG42 becomes the Barracuda. That brings us up to 4 out of 22. We are 2 elevenths of the way there. We got a genuine survival gun for the catwalk in this upgraded MG42. So we're going to be chilling up there for a little while. Also, I got this uh, weapon right here, which is going to be kind of helpful. Here we go, baby. Double tap and everything. Oh my god, this thing is an absolute lead cannon. One thing I will note, one thing I really enjoy about World of War Zombies, despite all of its glitches and issues, man, oh man, the guns feel so satisfying. They feel like genuine guns. I don't feel like I'm shooting a toy gun like in the newer Call of Duties. This is a fucking machine. This World of War vibe is so inexplicably incredible. Like, I feel like I'm genuinely attacking zombies. Maybe it's just like when the quality of the textures and graphics are better, it just feels less real and less gritty. But this feels like an actual fight for my life because it's actually challenging and it's super realistic. All right, time to spin the box again. We're pretty low on ammo. Well, not with my shotgun, but I'm not gonna keep this for the entire game. I gotta start cycling through. So PBSH, I will take that with happiness. I will take that with a big grin on my face, motherfucker. This, oh my God, the PBSH, most versatile weapon in zombies history, possibly. Does everything you want it to. What is this? M1 carbine. All right, well, we got a decent one and a bad one. I think that's good. I think it's good to pair good and bad weapons so we're not left with all the shitty ones in the end. But yeah, we're going to upgrade both of these and that'll bring us up to six out of 22. The um, carbine, when upgraded, becomes the Wittershins RC1 or something like that. Yeah, it's fully automatic too. Look at that. Oh, it doesn't really... Doesn't really work very good. And we'll upgrade the PBSH, which becomes the Reaper. This thing is an absolute lead cannon. It's versatile. It has the highest output to damage ratio. There's no recoil. There's tons of ammo in the mag. This is this is a godsend weapon. This thing is fully automatic and fully shitty. All right, where we're going to drop now. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, my God. It's annihilating. This is an SMG. This isn't even an LMG. Oh my god, I forgot about how good this World of War PBSH is. Alright, well, we have quite a bit of ammo left in the Reaper, but not in our Carbine, so let's spin the box, see what we get. FG-42, I think I'll take that, and... 
I guess we'll keep this for now. I feel bad trading it in right now. So we'll upgrade the FG-42. That'll give us another solid weapon. And that'll bring us up to 7 out of 22. And the FG-42 one upgraded becomes the 420 Impeller. Nice meme name. Check out this fire rate, dude. Oh my god. With double tap, this thing is... A beast. Oh, oh, here we go. I'm fucking screwed. I'm fucking screwed. Tim's screwed, guys. Oh, he's not. He's okay. Well, not for long. These dogs make everything so much worse during the rounds. Ugh. We toss a monkey. Get out of my face! Come on up, zombies! Woo! Party's up here. Oh my god, that fire rate is orgasmic. I'm getting pretty close to having enough points to just upgrade all the guns outright. Well, I have to spin the box quite a few times, so not really, but... We're getting kind of close. Yo, the monkey's over there. Are you not going to go for it? No, let's just stand there dickless and wait for Tim. Fun, fun. Goodbye, Reaper. It was an honor serving with you. Now I got the trench gun, and let's see what else we can possibly get. Ow, you little... Th Ow, he's a full-grown man. Oh, boy. Oh, teddy bear. Sick. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to grab the car 98 k Just pack-a-punch that. Get it out of the cycle. I'm not going to use that for any reason, any purpose. It's a piece of shit. Sorry, not sorry, crazy rabbit. I mean, it, it's okay <laughs> on round one, but I think I'm going to upgrade it now, get it out of the way, and not worry about it for the rest of the game. And that becomes the Armageddon. And then the trench gun upgraded becomes the gut shot. And that brings us up to 9 out of 22. I'm going to keep the gut shot, and I'm going to get rid of the Armageddon for an automatic weapon. And that is a sniper, the PTRS. Um, it's not terrible, but again, I'm going to take this, upgrade it, get it out of the cycle and move on to another weapon because I don't want to trade it out. I'd rather just upgrade it because you know, I need to upgrade it <laughs> anyways. So yeah, we'll upgrade this, keep the gut shot, and maybe I'll just go buy a wall gun instead. The BTRS when upgraded becomes the uh, penetrator. <laughs> wink, wink. Okay. Okay. We will take this once again for the third time in a row. We're going to upgrade it and get rid of it because, all right, I know it seems frustrating that I'm getting rid of the Wonder Weapon, but if I shock myself with it, I lose Jug for the rest of the game, which means if I get hit once or twice, I'm fucking dead. So this is actually going to be detrimental to our challenge, but I will upgrade it because I have to, and I will immediately get rid of it. But here we are. We get the Wunderwaff DG3 Jay-Z. Or maybe I should trade out the Gut Shot and keep the Wonder Wolf, just in case I absolutely... You know, I'm not even going to take the risk. I'm not even going to take the risk. I'll take the STG and I'll upgrade it. This thing looks like a little pencil. A little pencil dick. Anyways, this becomes the Spats 447 Plus, and it's actually a solid weapon, but it's around 25, so I don't know if this is going to be very helpful. But I'm going to roll with these two weapons right here and see what we can do with that. You guys see that? He's going in the opposite direction of me. I'm right here, and he's going all the way around. Don't worry, I can take care of this. <laughs> of mice and men style. Okay, this thing's still doing some damage. Up close, you gotta be real tight. Real up close. Up close and personal. But yeah, this trench gun is still magnificent. I'm gonna start doing like a full map train if I possibly can. I'm gonna try to avoid just staying in that one particular area. I think I'm done camping. Unless I get the browning out of the box, I think I'm done camping. Because it's just, I'm gonna get trapped eventually. It's inevitable, so... Let's just try to make our way downtown with our bitch, because she's going to make us a sandwich. I'm going to stand right here with my spats and see what we can do, baby. Lock and load. Ch -ch. Bang. Reload, reload. Okay, bang, bang, bang. There we go. Okay, it feels really satisfying to shoot. I can assure you that. But um, effective, not entirely. Okay, there's max ammo down there. So I'm going to try to lead the zombies towards me. Jump, leap of faith. Up, oh, surround myself. Oh, oh, oh god, oh god. Okay, I can jump down here. I can jump down here. Go down. Oh, okay, run, 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 motherfucker. Okay, there's a max ammo. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it. I think it's disappearing. It's it's gone. Fuck. Well, at least I lived. I missed the max ammo, but I am so glad I'm alive. That could have gone really poorly. Okay, we'll lock and load now. Lock and load, baby. Uh, I'm dropping frames, man, but... I'm having a fun time. Dropping frames and having a fun time. I get why they call it the gut shot. It feels like a gut shot, just like... Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Please just turn into a crawler. Oh, man, he's not turning into a crawler. I don't know if I can risk killing him, because if I if I kill him, oh, my God, I'm going to be so pissed off. I have a lot of points, and I can definitely get a lot of guns upgraded right now, but he's following me! Shit! Okay, just crawler, please. Thank you. Oh, my God. And the crawlers in World of War are faithful crawlers. They ain't disloyal. They, they fucking stay crawlers. They don't respawn. Alright, let's see what we can get. Hopefully something good. Okay, well that's good, but like, not really. 
What is that? Type 100? We did need that. I'm definitely going to be pack a punching that. And what else can we get from the box of wonders? Molotov cocktails. I'd rather chop my dig off. Flamethrower. Okay, we'll definitely take this. Will we keep it? Probably not. It does serve infinite damage. You know, I get unlimited fire. And I don't think keeping it around would be very smart because it doesn't kill them nearly as fast as I would need them to. Plus, not great for points. We're going to upgrade the Type 100, which gives us the Samurai's 1001. It's a pretty solid weapon. And we'll upgrade the Flamethrower, which I don't remember what it's called when I upgrade it. But it's called something cool, I believe. Uh, the fuck... Indian women nitrogen cooled. That was really racist for no reason. We did not have enough points to get the rest of the weapon, so we're just going to continue on to the next round, which is a dog round. Very well. I am going to end up keeping this flamethrower, see how it does. It is upgraded, so it, it might be able to do some damage. And we're going to keep the samurai here. Um, also not feeling great about it, but it's definitely going to get us the points we need. Let's hoard them up. I would use the trap, but that's not going to help us at all, actually. I mean, it'll kill them, but it won't get us the points we need. So, anyways, let's whip out this bad boy and see... The damage it does. Not even bad. Um, not terrific. Would have hoped a little bit better, but it's not as bad as it would have been unknocked, obviously. Nuke. 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 No, I'm not even going to grab it. I would have died right there. And would have been a great one points. Anyways, we're going to go try to grab the MP40. That's one of the last guns I need off the wall. All right, I'm definitely going to have to run. Grab this. We'll just chill here for a second. We'll teleport. Die. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I was about to pack a punch, but the dog landed on the pad with me, and I couldn't do anything. So that's terrific. Well, at least we got a gun, despite having it not be pack a punch. All right, well, please die. That's all I ask of you. Okay, well, that was an entire round of a flamethrower and a Type 100. Boy, oh boy, I'm sick of that. So, we're going to upgrade the MP40. That'll give us the afterburner. We definitely need that. It will be helpful for points. We may keep it. For a little bit longer. And we'll also just grab the Gewehr right here. Jewer, Gewehr, I don't know how to pronounce it. My friends and I pronounced it Jewer when we were younger. I promise you that's not an anti-Semitic thing. It's just shitty nine-year-old humor. Anyway, so that becomes the G115 compressor. And the MP40 becomes the classic afterburner. And that brings us up to a whopping 16 out of 22. We have six more weapons. And I intend on trying to pack a punch them all right now. It's a shame because this gun a couple of rounds ago would have actually been pretty good. But right now it's useless. It's just the nature of it. So I have every single wall gun purchased. So it's just spinning the box now. Please game me something out. I haven't had, haven't had, haven't had. Ray gun. I will take that with stride. It's going to be pretty effective. I'm actually going to keep this. And the ray gun becomes the classic Porter's X2 ray gun. Whoop, whoop. And that... Brings us up to, let me do my math correctly, 17 out of 22, which means we need five more. And I don't believe we're going to be able to get to all of them, but we will try. That is the M1 Grant. Don't want to keep it, and I'm a little bit sad that I had to trade out my afterburner because I was planning on keeping that for points. But the challenge is to upgrade every single gun. It's not to survive as long as possible, so we will take that. We'll upgrade it, and I don't even know what it's called when it's upgraded. But, oh, it's the Imploder. That's a pretty cool name. Do we still get the, the new tube attachment? I believe we do. Oh, look at that. Oh, hell yeah. Yes, okay, the Browning. This is the other LMG that I would have camped with, but I think we're past that point. I don't think we're gonna be able to camp. So I'm gonna upgrade this, obviously, and that'll bring us up to 19 out of 22, which means we need three more weapons. Three times 5,000 per piece would cost 15,000 to upgrade, which means we have about five grand to spin the box can we get three weapons with five box spins okay right now i'm looking at the list and the last three weapons we need to upgrade is the 357 magnum the bar and the panzer shrek neither one of those weapons are going to help us with points or damage so what i'm going to do is despite uh my better judgment i'm going to start the new round with my ray gun and my browning the browning will be great for points and damage the ray gun will be great for damage we're going to go to round 29 it's going to be risky it's never going to be a, a non-risky thing, but we have to try. This is a little bit better. I would say this is a little bit better. Gotta watch our back. This is making things a lot easier. No cap. Oh, 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 we got a max ammo. Got a max ammo. Over there. Over there. Let me grab this. Another monkey. Yeet. Okay. Let's pull out this bitch. Hello. Some of them don't even go for the monkey. That one just came right up to me. Oh my god. Dear Jesus. Okay, I managed to survive round 29. That was a little bit stressful. When I say a little bit, I mean very. Hopefully we are rewarded for our efforts with the three weapons we need. That being the 357 Magnum, the Panzer Shrek, or the Bar. Hit me up with some of that good shit, fam. The flamethrower. 
Panzer Shrek. Sweet. That's one of them. I'll actually go upgrade it right now just in case. I don't want to trade out my ray gun. I would never actually use this thing. It's way too much of a hazard. I don't have flopper and it's pretty much just instant death if I get too close to myself. Anyways, that makes 20 out of 22. We need two more. The Longinus. Holy shit. That's a fucking war cannon if I've ever seen one. Well, it looks like we're going to have to go another round, unfortunately. I know, it's bullshit, but we don't have enough. Out of 20,000 points, we got the Panzer Shrek. Definitely die, definitely die. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. We got to get this, we got to get this, we got to get this. We got it, we got it. Good, Tim, good, good. I am freaking the fuck out right now. This is a lot harder than you think it is, especially since I don't get a quick revive. Alright, we're just going to start systematically taking him out. We don't want to waste this insta kill. Just, just do it like that, baby. Okay, we survived another entire round, and we have about mm, 19 box spins to get two weapons. If we don't get them, I'm going to be a little bit upset. <laughs> Oh my god, we got the 357 Magum. I've been waiting for this moment for a little while. A little while indeed. This is actually a pretty powerful weapon. Uh, but we only have one more after this, so we're probably not going to keep it. We're probably just going to trade that right back out. And that gives us 21. What does that even say? 0.357 plus I kill you. That is a little on the nose. I hate you, bitch. The last gun we have, by the way, is the bar. Which is a wild gun on some other maps. I know it's on Nocturne Toten, I think for Rucked as well. But on Darice, no. Unless it actually is on the wall and I have no idea where it is. I don't know why they'd... Can you even go in here? <laughs> what if the bar wall by was just chilling right the fuck there? That'd be so cool. Please give me the bar, the B-A-R, the bar, please. Please. I will give you everything I own. Yes! Oh my god, I didn't even think that was the bar. Oh, good lord, we got it, guys. Oh my god. I failed this challenge so many times. I think a dozen times. I just kept dying in round 20-ish because I got trapped so easily. But this is the one final successful attempt. Holy shit, the bar went upgraded becomes the... I don't even know, man. But I'm so hyped. Oh my god, that's 22 out of 22. That is... Ooh, the Widowmaker, that's a badass name. That is every single gun in World at War Zombies upgraded. If you enjoyed this video, again, make sure to leave a like to show your support and subscribe so you don't miss the Black Ops 4 episode. Again, let me know which map you'd like me to tackle. This was a lot harder than it may seem. The Reese is an easy map, but World of War is not an easy engine. I promise you that. I really, really encourage you to try doing this challenge. It is so difficult. Anyways, I hope you guys do great. And uh, I gotta go. So, uh, peace the frick out.